When the violations start getting blatantly disrespectful, like flirting with other girls, checking for other girls, texting other girls, you know it's time. Now, there are times when both of you will cross the line, but when him crossing the line starts to get sloppy, you know that's the relationship equivalent to waterboarding. He basically wants you so uncomfortable that you eventually break. Now, some men are real enough to say that they don't love you anymore, but then you have those pieces of shit who show up with their actions until all your hope is gone and possibly your trust and your ability to love another man. Put it like this. If the infractions are starting to straight up humiliate you, it's time to let him go. Derek Jackson's wife should watch his videos so she knows exactly how to avoid men like her husband. <laughs> Welcome everyone, thanks for tuning in and today's topic literally fell into my lap. The same way Derek Jackson's net worth keeps falling. After it was confirmed, he cheated on his wife with multiple women for multiple years. For those of you that don't know, Derek Jackson is a self-proclaimed rela relationship expert that has been giving advice to women for the past decade, roughly from the year 2010. You saw one of his many videos there at the beginning where he has no sympathy for a man that cheats on his woman and that if he doesn't want to be committed to her, he should leave so she can go be with a man who does. He should take his own advice. Personally, I would much rather be an honest sinner than a lying hypocrite. But I really wanted to focus on why Derek Jackson became as successful as he is. Derek Jackson, the brand, the businessman, Anyone who believes they are the overseer of human morality should worry you. Derek Jackson liked to portray himself as the most moral man on earth. He could do no wrong. He was literally the, what you call the example all men should aspire to be. But the thing is, we are all human. Nobody is perfect, myself included, so it was bound to happen that he was going to be caught with his pants down, literally. However, we need to give him credit. He saw a gap in the market of women wanting to hear advice from men. Who who better to tell you about men than another man? He infiltrated that market and made millions as a result. I don't think he ever believed anything he was ever saying. His actions prove that. But he knew women wanted to hear it and he sold it. He knew his audience and exploited it for maximum gain. That's why you see he's more worried about keeping his brand alive than really trying to fix his marriage. Because his brand comes first, the marriage comes second. I personally believe the marriage was just there to solidify the brand. She is an accessory. You have more credibility as a married man preaching to women about the types of men to avoid than when you're a single man. Derek Jackson is very good at what he does. He's charismatic. He's tall, he's muscular, he's very good with his words and communicating, he has, he has loads of money. Basically, he's the type of man most women dream to be with. He was the face of what they hoped was attainable for pretty much yeah, most women. Many women have ended their relationships hoping to find a man like Jarek Jackson, according to the comment sections and just his previous videos. And ish, I hope they, they get some compensation because he was lying to them. I first saw his videos back in around 2014 and I wasn't surprised that it was most almost exclusively women watching his videos. I believe in watching more than just one video before critiquing, uh, critiquing someone. So I watched a number of his videos and realized his advice wasn't realistic for the most part. Like for example, a single mom with a child from a previous relationship is very unlikely going to have a rich man with no kids of his own wanted to date her seriously. But he would give those women hope when the odds of that happening are very low. Instead of dealing with the rule, he liked to focus on the exception. He very rarely told his audience to take accountability for their outcomes in life. If a relationship ended, it's the guy's fault. If he doesn't like you hanging out with male friends, he's insecure. That's his problem. If he doesn't text you often, he doesn't want you. He took scenarios most women uh, probably have been in, in their lives at some point in time and they related to it so much so that most women are probably nodding their heads as they listen and watch his videos and his female audience kept growing and his bank account kept growing too. That's why when I stopped watching his videos because I realized I'm like anyone that who doesn't take accountability for the most part they played in any situation 
whether that's professional, personal, relationship-wise, I don't care. I really don't want to be around somebody that doesn't take accountability for their actions. If you're not gonna, if you're not getting the outcomes you desire in life, what are you doing to change that? If all your exes were trash, why do you seem to always be attracting trash? Is it always someone else's fault? Or are you mature enough to understand you played a part in it and address that? You can only control what you say and what you do. You can't control what people do around you. Some of his messages admittedly were good. Women should know their worth. If a man is continuously cheating on you and mistreating you, you should leave. That's not a bad message. He did give good advice at times, but when your brand is completely revolving around you practicing what you preach, when we find out you're a lying hypocrite, the message gets lost, even if it's a good one. Nobody can take him seriously anymore because we know you're lying. Because this, because he is literally the type of men he was telling women to avoid. He was talking about himself this entire time. This is why, I mean, guys, this is why I think it's vital not to tie a message to a person, no matter who it is. Remember the Will and Jada entanglement situation of last year? They were considered couple goals of Hollywood. But I'm willing to bet most people, they don't want that Jada and that Will love. Shout out to J. Cole, no role models. Separate the message from the person. Listen to what they have to say, and you yourself decide whether you agree or disagree with the message not the person. The person is selling a brand, which they themselves might not be living up to. Never ever take someone's word as gospel, mine, mine included. Always be crit always critically think about what you're hearing and see how it can be applied to your life. If you find yourself constantly agreeing with someone who has no facts, no examples, no proof to back it up, there's a problem and you should start questioning what they're saying. We live in a society where lies are praised and facts and the truth are shunned and even rejected sometimes. And Derek Jackson knew this very well. One example that stood out to me is when there was a woman who was overweight. She had two kids from two different men. Once emailed him com complaining about struggling to find a man like Derek. And he told her that, you know what? A true king will realize that your kids are a blessing. And he is going to accept you for who you are. Your weight won't be a problem. It's what's inside that matters. You see, that's what she wants to hear. He can sell that. He can sell the hope. The man you want is out there. He then tries, find, he, he then tries to find like an example of that and try to pass it off as the rule. When that's really the exception. Because whether you want to accept it or not, most men aren't going to seriously date you. If you're shorter than them, yet weigh more than them, and especially if you have children with another man, let alone multiple men. But you see, that truth would push his audience away. So you wouldn't say that. You gotta sell the dream. You gotta promote the brand, which he does very well, because he wouldn't be a multi-millionaire if he didn't. But just to wrap things up, are you getting the desired outcomes you want from life? If not, what can you do to change that? The people complaining about his wife choosing to stay? She's a grown woman. Let her make her own choices and she clearly doesn't want to be saved. I like to think of life like airplane oxygen masks. First, put on your oxygen mask, i.e. help yourself get the outcomes you want out of life. Then once that's done, try help those in the seats around you, your family, your friends, your colleagues, the people you care about. You might end up losing yourself trying to save everyone, which basically means your oxygen mask falls off and you die. You lose. Save yourself first and then worry about helping those you care about around you. Thanks for tuning in, everyone, and especially those of you that have stayed with me till the end. Uh, this story is probably far from over because now there's a third, I think it was a third mistress that's come out and claims to have gotten pregnant by him. So hey, Sha, this is just a <laughs> uh, this is just a messy situation. I personally, really like my own my own thoughts. I really do hope the wife is fine, because when I saw the major pain army outfit and her hat of salvation, I was genuinely concerned because she seemed to really believe what she was saying. So I'm really worried about her mental well being. But she chose to save. I'm pardon me. She chose to stay. So what can we do? She's a grown woman. She doesn't want to be saved. 
I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.